I have a very special story to tell you. A very amazing man. He is quoted to have said that the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination. And the person who said this was Albert Einstein. I'm going to pronounce his name in the German fashion. Einstein is how they would have said his name. So here's the story of Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is the most influential scientist of the 20th century. He was daring, wildly ingenious, passionately curious, and creative beyond measure. He saw a beam of light and imagined himself riding it. He looked up at the night sky and imagined that space and time was curved. His general theory of relativity changed our understanding of space and time, becoming one of the pillars of modern physics. His most famous equation, E equals mc squared, states that anything with a mass has an equivalent amount of energy, and vice versa. Einstein today is more myth than man, and the essence of that myth is that the workings of his mind are far beyond the reach of most people. Not many people actually know what his contributions to science were. Albert Einstein was born in Ohm, Germany. As a child, he enjoyed solving math riddles and building skyscrapers out of playing cards. Some of his card creations were 14 mini-stories tall. Albert Einstein's lifelong passion for physics was sparked at the age of four or five when his father showed him a small compass. Though he attended school as a young boy, he also received instruction at home on Judaism and violin. By the age of 12, he had taught himself geometry. Einstein eventually decided to study math and physics in the hopes of becoming a teacher. From 1902 through 1909, Einstein worked in a patent office in Bern, Switzerland. While working in the patent office, he did some of his most creative work of his life, producing no fewer than four groundbreaking articles in 1905 alone. He earned a PhD in 1905. Einstein created the quantum theory of light, the idea that light exists as tiny packets or particles that we now call photons. Alongside Max Planck's work on the quanta of heat and Niel Bohr's later work on quanta of matter, Einstein's work anchors the most shocking idea in 20th century physics. We live in a quantum universe, one built out of tiny separate chunks of energy and matter. Einstein then publishes two papers. In one, he invents a new method of counting and determining the size of the atoms or molecules in a given space. And in the other, he explains the phenomenon of Brownian motion. This becomes a proof that atoms actually exist. Still an issue at that time. Einstein's general theory of relativity states that what we perceive as the force of gravity between two masses actually arises from the warping of space and time. Although the sun's gravity appears to pull the earth towards it, no such force exists. Instead, the geometry of space-time around the sun dictates how the earth moves. Einstein applied science to daily life through his patents for a noiseless refrigerator, a light-intensity self-adjusting camera, and a hearing aid. Throughout the last years of his life, Einstein searched for a unified field theory which would bring together all the laws of the universe and those of physics into a single framework. Einstein died on April 18, 1955 in Princeton Hospital. The world's fascination with this kind and gentle genius has not decreased to this day.